So a few extra things that you can do with this program is um, with these flow lines that you've got here, all right, with the plane, all right, we want to click on that once if you're in planes here. So we click here and we go remove. So what this does is when we look at the front of the car, okay, if you want to play around with these um, flow lines, you can do that. So we just go to um, traces. All right, and these dots here, okay, you can then start to play around with those from the front view, and you can actually see um, what you're doing. Okay, so that's there for you if you want to do that. Um, you can change the style um, of this pattern here. Okay, so at the moment we've got a rectangle um, with all, all the little dots there that start off the flow line. All right, you can change all those settings in here. Okay, um, I'm just going to change the view. All right, one other thing that you guys can do as well is you can play around with ISO surfaces. Just going to click on that. Okay, then we just go over to Add. All right, so if I look inside, so I just going to find the right view for it. I'm just going to zoom in. Okay, it shows you all the um, uh, the pressure buildup around your car. Okay, so um, you may want to play around with this tool here. Um, you may want to get rid of your um, flow lines actually because it makes it a little bit harder to see. So if we just go to traces and then hit remove, okay, that makes it a little bit easier to see now. All right, so. Um, yeah, as you can see around the car there, you got, you know, with areas where you have a bit of pressure build up. Okay, so you could use that in your analysis to work out, um, obviously, how, how you can change your car to improve that. Okay.